I want to go ahead and apologize to everybody for not posting a review yesterday. I know you might have all been looking for me. But, you know what? Have no fear, for I am here. Could y'all see me right over there like the whole... Man, that shit ain't work. Fuck! I am here. That shit still don't work without the dramatic music. What the fuck? Look, bro, I'm here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look, I tried to say this shit like all white. I mean, all might, nigga. But I ain't white, bro. I'm a black nigga. You know what I'm saying? My Hero Academia fans, what is up with y'all? I got so much shit to talk to y'all about. And I know some of y'all about to be mad, but I sincerely apologize. I just couldn't help myself. But here we go. Okay, so uh, I know I was watching My Hero Academia on uh, Adult Swim, but... I couldn't help it, nigga, bro. I watched everything, nigga. I'm caught all the way up to the current episodes, nigga. I'm about to be watching it in the English subs, not the dubs now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Only dubs I'm be on. <laughs> you feel me? When I tell y'all I tried, I mean, my nigga, I tried so hard, bro. This show is so addictive. Dog, I'm sitting there watching when they got through season one. That nigga almost cried, you know what I'm saying? When All Might fought the new move. And then all of a sudden, season two. Nigga, shit got so real. Now I know in season one, I didn't fuck with Bakugo at first, but now in season two, I still don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga's still a bitch. Bro, my feelings ain't changed for that nigga throughout three seasons. I'm pretty sure that nigga gonna remain a bitch. I ain't gonna call the nigga Koksky no more, but I still don't fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? But I have made so many new favorites now, and I actually fuck with Midoriya. Midoriya is a real ass nigga. Dog, I'm trying to. Nigga, you know how many times I watch nigga like be all brave and shit? Something that I would never be in my life. Cause niggas, so many times you're trying to save people, nigga, save yourself, bruh. Like, even when he saved Coda, you know what I'm saying? Like, with me? Fuck that, nigga. That would have been my time to get revenge. I would have kicked that little nigga right in his nuts. Fuck that little nigga, bruh. Y'all damn near about the same. Well, y'all ain't even the same age. But, nigga, you a minor and he's a minor, too. You allowed to kick that little nigga in the dick. But, anyway, so much has happened in this anime in such a short period of time. Like, the seasons aren't even, like, that long. Like, not near as long as the Dragon Ball Z arcs. But... Now we're up to season three, episode 10, episode 11. And I'm not going to fucking do that again, just to let y'all know. Episode 11. And I don't know where I was even going to go with that, but uh, we're on episode 11. My Hero Academia, episode 11, one for all. That's what I was actually going for in that last take, but I just completely forgot about it by the time it came down to do it. Now, nigga, this episode had me like, bah! this episode had me on the edge of my bunk bed the whole episode, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. So the episode starts off with All For One talking about All Might's master. You know what I'm saying? He over there talking about her like, yo, what was she a master at? Cause she damn sure want a master at the head game, nigga. Fuck you mean, bro. I know you're not trying to go. Nigga, whose grandson do you think that is? I gave her one for all and she gave me All For One, you know what I'm saying? All For One, dollar at that, you know what I'm saying? Like the nigga is straight going on her, bro. He makes All Might mad enough to the point where he attacks. And when he attacks, all for one immediately counters with a super powerful attack. Gran Torino had to save All Might. Now I can see Gran Torino saving All Might, right? Because they both left that unscathed, at least from that attack, right? But when All for One tried to attack that woman, All Might. Bro, let me holler at you real quick for a second. Look here, bro. The way that woman was crawling out of that building. Ain't really look like she had much longer left. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't even gonna make it to the hospital. Look, man, all I'm trying to say is that niggas die every day, B. So then as the episode goes on, All For One tells All Might that Tomo Shigaraki is his master's grandson. And for some reason, All Might was like, oh, it can't be like, nigga, it is though. Like, fuck you mean it can't be, bro? He clearly just fucking told you it is. You think the nigga lying? Then All For One over there talking about he had to tell him something that was gonna break him. Like, nigga, how is that gonna break me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you act like you said that was mine. Nigga, the kid is not my son. I don't give a fuck about that little nigga. What the fuck he do? I don't give a fuck about any of that. Nigga, break me. You know what I'm saying? Just don't tell me that little nigga mine and break my pockets. And then All Might over there talking about, oh, what would she do? She knew how we turned out. Nigga, she wouldn't do shit, bro. Probably roll over in a fucking grave, nigga. That's about it, bro. She's dead. What the fuck do you think she's gonna do? So All Might, with his spirit broken, prepares to fight. And then Endeavor comes over there to save him. And then when Endeavor comes over there, he comes out of nowhere with this long ass speech talking about, uh, Kakarot, I know I'm not stronger than you, but I'm gonna get, I mean, he ain't say Kakarot, but like, y'all niggas know, it was basically like a Vegeta type speech, and y'all niggas know that. He basically said all of the same shit that Vegeta be saying to Goku, Every time Goku gotta fight a villain at Vegeta came. But anyways, so all of the heroes come over there to help All Might, right? And Gran Torino starts this super, like, motivating speech. And it starts showing everybody around the world that's, like, yelling to motivate All Might. And I ain't even gonna front, y'all. Why are they showing all of these motherfuckers, and I know they speaking Japanese and shit? Nigga, my black ass is over there doing the same thing with them. If I can stand up, put my hands in the air, and give Goku some energy, then I can damn sure stand there and go... 
just to motivate All Might to fuck this nigga up. I told y'all, man, I really be getting into anime, dog. Like, I be really feeling that shit, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? All Might going through it, I had to make sure that nigga really actually made it. Like, y'all can't even lie, bro. I know every time y'all hear, I am here. Don't you have, like, this sense of security? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're safe? Unless the cops say that. So anyways, All For One comes at All Might with all of his power. And All Might was able to put all of his power into one of his arms so he can counter the attack. Now, if I was able to put all of my power into one arm... With a strong Wi-Fi connection, y'all never hear from me again. My dick would literally look exactly like Midoriya's arms every time he uses one for all at 100% power. But anyways, we watch him, right? And then All Might switches his power from his right arm to the left one. Stole off on that bitch ass nigga all for one. Then out of nowhere, said, all right, nigga, I'm going to holler at you. Get the fuck out of here and hit that nigga with the United States of Smash. Now, I don't know what the fuck this nigga All Might be naming his moves, but I swear the United States of Smash... Definitely sound like it could be a brothel in Nevada. Now look, I understand what y'all was doing with All Might, right? Like, he put the power of 50 states in his fist to smash this nigga. Understandable. But could y'all imagine if this nigga was black and put the power of the civil rights movement in his fist? Nigga, you don't even need the whole 50 states, bro. Like, nigga, all you gotta do is catch the right black nigga that got told he ain't allowed to drink at that water fountain that day, and I swear that nigga will smash anybody. But look, I ain't even gonna front y'all. When he said goodbye all for one, I almost took the do-rag off. I swear I was crying my ass off, nigga. Man, this can't be the end of all my dog. The symbol of peace? Nigga! The symbol of black people? He ain't got nothing to do with black people. But, like, y'all know me. I always got to... The main character got to be blackish. Look, bro. There will never be no black people in any of these anime. And I ain't seen not one black nigga in My Hero Academia yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least in Dragon Ball Z... We had Piccolo. I know y'all thought I was gonna say Mr. Popo, nigga. We had Piccolo. But aside from my hero academia not abiding by affirmative action, nigga, I know y'all was super excited just like me when All Might held his arm up and was like, Whoosh. Like, y'all know my hand ain't gonna get bigger, but y'all know what I'm saying. Dog, I swear when he did that, like in that brief moment, I felt like, like this overwhelming joy. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like there's, like there's hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm all child support, and I know I ain't gonna know what that's like for like 14 years, but like, regardless. And I swear I thought that was gonna be the moment that got me. Until he was like, Now, it's your turn. I mean, he ain't turn, but like, I felt like that looked a lot better, but like, he was like, Now, it's your turn. Don't cry, nigga. I know you want to cry. Don't cry like a little bitch. But nah, for real, man, after that part, I ain't even gonna lie, dog. Like, I mean, I cried too, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me and Midoriya was crying, dog. Like, nigga, for real, bro. That was the first time me and Midoriya straight cried together. If I cry, you cry, nigga. I'm Ja Rule, nigga. But on some real shit, though, thank you all for putting me onto this show. Now this show has easily become my second favorite anime because, of course, nothing will ever top Dragon Ball. Thank you. This this is, like, the most addicting anime I've watched in, in, in years. I'm not even gonna lie. So, every Sunday, now that I'm caught up, make sure y'all come to my channel. And have no fear, for I am here. That was dry shit, nigga. I thought, like, what the fuck? I thought that would not be dry. Like, nigga, I need the music.